Welcome guys, welcome to a completely new session of Dockers and today we are going to see the difference between the Docker volumes and the bind mounts. Both are doing exactly the same thing but yes there is a little bit difference between both of them and today we are going to explore and see the difference between both of them. So for that let's go and create a simple container where I would be using the shared volume. Now, let me just give you an overview of what exactly is the difference between a bind volume or bind mounts versus the docker volume. In case of docker volume, the volume, the shared volume which is created in the host is created within the docker. Okay, where the location of uh, that particular um, shared volume is under this variable Okay, a variable directory, where directory, under that it's library, lib directory, under that there's a docker and under, under that there's a volume directory. Now, if you're creating a particular volume with a name, let's suppose test volume. Okay, so under this docker, it would be created. Under this docker directory, it would be created. Whereas in case of bind mounts, it's the, this particular volume which is created in the host it is basically created within the EC2 machine. Now, within the host EC2 machine and second one is also, the, the volume is also within the EC2 machine only, but it is created inside the Docker software. Okay, inside the Docker. So it has been managed by the Dockers itself. The shared volumes is being managed by the Dockers. Whereas in, on another hand, bind mounts is being managed by the host machine. Now, what is the drawback of using the bind mounts? In case of bind mounts, sometimes it, it depends on the operating system, right? It depends on the operating system also. Whereas in case of Docker volume, we don't, they, there is no constraint about the operating system, about the host size, all those things is not a constraint. Everything would be taken care by the Docker itself. So let's see how we can create a single, how we can create a container. First, we will check how we can create it via the bind mounts. And then we are going to see how we can create with the help of the volumes itself. Now this is the command which we are going to use. Okay, there's a conflict which happened. Let me again use a different container, hyphen V. PWD here is would be my current working directory which would be created inside my EC2, my host. Okay, and Akshat is the directory name here. Okay, this app, slash app would be the application or the directory which would be created inside the container. Okay, inside the container also there would be some directory which would be created. So this is the app would be that directory. Uh, this would be the current directory. The Akshat would be created. This The directory with the name Akshat would be created up here and we would be installing the Nginx. Okay, so we are starting up the process. Perfect. Exited. So let me just use Docker PS and let me check if it is being created or not. No, it's not being created up. iPhone V and Jinx. I will use bin bash as well. Docker run IT name would be there, volume I'm creating. And then Nginx would be, or I can use Ubuntu here rather than Nginx. Let me use Ubuntu as of now. Error, conflict with the name. Let me change the name of my container. Yeah, I have entered inside the container itself. Now, if you do an LS, you will see um, an app. Okay, this is, uh, this is what I have kept in here. This would be my target, right? This is my target and this would be my source. I will show you the source as well. Now, here I'm first checking bind mounts. So I will just use CD app. Now let me create a file here, touch file one. Okay, so if you do an LS, a file one is created. Let me exit it now. Now when I exit it, I have exited it. Now, when I do an LS, after coming out, when I do an LS, you will see Akshat directory is also created. There is an Akshat directory 
which is also created. See, in my current directory, I have created Akshat directory. Let me get inside this Akshat directory and you will see file one is there. So which I have created from here. So basically what is happening in the bind mounts, this shared volume is being created in the host at normal location, at any location, whatever you want, it would be created up. It is not created in any of the Docker location. Okay. So that's, that is what is bind mounts. Let's see the Docker volumes here. So the same command I would be using for the Docker volumes, but a site difference would be there. Okay. I will remove this working directory and uh, I can just change the name wall new. And here I will just change the name of this directory and this also I will change the name so that there is no confusion. Okay. Now if I click on enter, now if you do an ls, you will see an app one is there. Okay. This app one is there. Now what I can do, I can uh, go inside this app one. Do an ls, nothing is there, touch file one. Okay, ls, we have it here. Let me exit it now. Okay, now, now if I do a docker volume inspect at akshat one. Okay, so I, what I'm doing, I'm just inspecting this volume and I would be able to see the location. Now, when you see this location, Okay, when we look at the Docker volume, this location is within C under Docker. Do under Docker, the volumes is there. So under Docker, this location is being created. That's the reason we call it a Docker volume. Okay, unlike here, unlike here, when it, when it was created under your machine only, this Akshat. See, it's there in machine only, right? Uh, this Akshat directory is created in machine only. It's not there in some Docker folder, a specific Docker folder. But here, when you look at it, I've just mentioned Akshat. I have not given this complete link, but automatically it understood that it need to create within this particular Docker volume. Okay. This, so in my EC2 machine, since I've installed Docker, there would be a directory named Docker inside that there's a volume directory named volume. And there my, this Akshat one is being created. Now to check the file content, I can even copy this. I can copy this. <laughs> And when I come down at the bottom, shift insert, and I will just change. Okay. Remove the double quotes and I will just change the directory. You CD command, enter and LS, you will see file one, which I created here. Okay. So the only difference with when, if, when anybody asks you between mine, uh, bind, mounts versus the docker volume is docker volume is being created within the docker itself under uh, the docker volume what happens is there is uh, inside the docker is a directory named volumes inside that particular directory the volume or uh, the shared volume is being created up whereas in the case of uh, your docker bind mounts the volume the shared volume is created within the host itself at any location you want it would be created but here it would be created under the Docker volumes itself. So that would be all. Thank you.